Junior, what did uh, what did Isaiah do today? Uh, we went through some shooting, some drills, and then um, we played five on five uh, with a few of the guys and got a chance to get up and down and, and play a little bit. How do you look? He looked good. Um, he's playing tomorrow, so um, excited for that. You know, it's been a process, and I see Dave reaching for his other phone to tweet it out. <laughs> and um, you know, it's been a process, so you know, it's not going. It's not going. You know, overnight, it's not going to happen. So he's been doing a great job of you know encouraging guys on the bench and. Um, you know, cheering for our guys, keeping our guys upbeat, and now he gets a chance to play. So everybody's excited for him. I'm excited, and um, you know, but it's going to be a process. It's like you know, getting in shape, his timing, so he can't get frustrated and think it's just going to happen overnight. So, um, but we're very excited to have him back. Follow up. What is the limit restriction for him? I'm not telling you that, but he has a minute restriction. Does this mean Boston's out of the question? Yeah, no back to backs. Yeah, no back to backs right now. So um, excited to have him out there, but it's going to be a process. You know, just. You know, like I said, minute restriction, getting in conditioning, lineups, and different things like that. But we're excited. Uh, not tomorrow. Is the back-to-back -back thing something just for uh, the short term, or is this something that you foresee? Um, not sure how long it's going to last, but it's going to be for you know for a little stretch until the medical staff says he's ready to go. So um, no back-to-backs. How do you think he has personally handled this process from the time he got involved? Um, I think he's handled it well. You know. Um, just being an ex-player, just you know, when you something's taken away from you that you love, and you're out so long, and you know, guys are competing, you can still can play, but you're hurt. You know, it's frustrating. And um, he's been itching to come back, been itching to play, just hasn't been the right time for our medical staff and for him. So um, it's been very difficult, but I think he's handled it well. And I think the closer he's got, the more frustrated he's got. So um, now the time is here, so we're excited. What can you give you guys considering the little wall that you had to end out in 2017? Just. You know, I think um, a guy who plays with pace and getting to the paint, can score in bunches. Um, you know, when Bron gets tired or, you know, um, not having a great game, you got another guy you can get the ball in his hands and he can create and, and make plays. So uh, we're excited about that. What does it mean for Dwayne and Kyle with that second unit with everyone off the bench out of the game? Um, you'll see tomorrow. Yeah. What went into the decision of bringing him off the bench for the first game? I don't know. Anything else, guys? Been the, like to see him from the time he got here. He probably wasn't able to do a lot of things to this. It's great. I mean, because you know, I think you always know, like, is it going to happen? When's it going to happen? And um, but now it's finally here. And like I said, just seeing how he can play with pace and get into the paint and the speed and quickness and ability to shoot the basketball, um, it really changes our team. So um, just very excited from day one to now. Um, just you know, it's, it's a good moment for us. How with IT making this uh, his debut at home, what kind of reception do you expect from the home fans? Um, a great reception. You know, we have great fans and they're behind us. And um, to get a guy like IT back, they're gonna be very excited. So um, the play should be electric tomorrow. So I'm excited to see it as well. How confident are you outside of the prison to get back and uh, that he knows the sets and stuff? Like that? We've been going over with it for the last couple of weeks. So. Um, it's different when you're playing the game and things are going full speed and you got to know you know the pick and roll coverage and then you got to know your plays and so it's going to take some time and we understand that so we just you know got to do a good job of just keeping it as simple as possible for him right now until he um, becomes more comfortable. How much of a say did Isaiah have in whether he played tomorrow versus making his debut in the game against Boston? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, the medical staff just thought it would be the right time and. Um, so uh, he wanted to play a couple games ago, so but they wouldn't let him go. So we're just excited that you know we can open up and our home fans will get a chance to see him first, and um, he's excited about that. The West is coming, and we will be ready. Great seats are still available. Get yours today at Cavs.com slash tickets.